Moving on. The future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that, but I didn't know why exactly or how it would end. There he is. You were right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. He admitted that? We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? Does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere, and we don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. And if Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Dr. Joyce could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who could win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. Mr. Joyce is waiting for us down below. What are these doing here? We should be set up by now. It's all on schedule. You're micromanaging again. Don't even twitch. And here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice invitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? I'm not getting the... Oh, here we go. I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or I could let Hatch deal with him so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. Alright, let's see what happens if we go business. I believe miscalculation, and as you and I are well aware, Mr. Joyce, with miscalculation can often come a catastrophe. And that leaves me with you, Mr. Joyce. But my old friend would be a lost cause, dead and buried, along with the rest of my past. Tonight is a celebration, a celebration in face of darkness. Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. Monarch would grow stronger with my presence. The plan would go forward as intended. Up into the past, I've tried to change things. Answer me this question, Will. I once trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? But without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. Ah, oh, this is a tough choice. I'm gonna be honest, I was just gonna go for personal right away, but now I'm thinking maybe I should go business. But at the same time, is Martin Fatch trustworthy? Ah, oh, 
this is a tough decision. Damn, I wish I had a coin flip app or something. <laughs> Ah. Damn it, this is like the toughest decision. I feel like business is a smart thing, and you know, Serene does need to focus on it, but at the same time, it, you know, it kind of like removes his redeemable aspect. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to flip a coin. Personal is. Martin, I'm afraid you're going to have to cover for me at the speech tonight. Alright. Jack and I have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. Also, I kind of want to learn more about Paul Serene's backstory. I've seen where this leads. I've been to the end of time, and I've escaped it all the way to 1999, when it all started. I've tried to change things, but by trying, I only made them happen in the first place. None of your friends agreed with your choice. Savage. Well, 58%. That's probably a good choice. Time is breaking down. Monarch has been preparing for it. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol. And it can save us, at least some of us. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. Well, let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. You're not thinking clearly. You need to trim it. You gonna go? Me? Go to a party. We can roll together if you want. I'm pretty sure she's the one who was distracting him. I want to steal it. Our group took things too far. Things got very violent. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. Find him. Step away! Right now! Liam, this isn't what it looks like. No. No! He's gone. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. I still don't know how the fuck he pulled off that escape. Oh, we know he didn't. <laughs> Ugh. I am not meant to be a storyteller. 